has been a wild year. You know, I've been thinking it's already November and we're reaching the end of this crazy groundbreaking wild year. And, you know, I can't help but think that I've spent a majority of it just kind of taking a step back as we all kind of have been doing. And on a personal level, it's been it's forced me to kind of make time and make space and reprioritize just where I was spending my time and my energy. And it's done wonders for me. You know, I'm always very conscious of that. And um, I can't help but think that it's led me to where I'm at right now. You know, I am the most independent and self-reliant I have ever been in my young adult life. And I feel like I've gotten a hold of how to take care of myself on a mental, emotional, physical level. And it, it makes me feel free in a sense, but you know, there's also been this crazy creative energy in me. I, for many of you who've known me for a long time, I have always been playing music. I've been chasing the music. I've interviewed crazy artists and written so many articles and it all kind of stopped in this pandemic and I was shifting gears to just be more creative and focus on that and focus on the writing that I wanted to share and express and share my story. And, you know, I feel like so many of us live in this state of fear of, of kind of waiting until the right moment happens for something to happen for us to really go for what we want and I know for me I've kind of always grasped on the things that made me feel safe and secure and stable especially in a time where I left home and had no stability no friends no family nothing to really latch on to I had to make the time to create a space where I feel like I could thrive and that took a long time you know, I've been moving around for three years back and forth, six different places, and I've gotten to where I'm at now. And, um, but as I was saying, um, I think there is this crazy creative energy in me, and I've been wanting to share so many stories, and the biggest struggle is that balance of taking care of yourself and making time and surviving and at the end of the day, really going for what you want because life is so short. And I'm kind of at a crossroads at this moment because I feel like I need to reprioritize everything. Like I've spent so much time cultivating this sense of peace in myself to love who I am and be there for my friends and make time for myself on a, you know, like, just caring for myself and to be able to feel like my best self and you know it's it's going to be an adjustment to change some things because yes I am happy I'm peaceful I'm content I am stable and secure and I feel comfortable but what I really want and what I've been striving to do here is to create, to share, to make people feel things, share my stories, share what I've learned and just give back. And I feel like that's kind of always been something in me was sharing my experience and what I've learned and creating moments and sharing moments with people. and. I've kind of been latching on to this sense of safety because I've finally gotten to this place and I know that some things have to change. I know that I need to push myself a little harder and actually a lot harder and I don't really know what that looks like but I know that I'm talking to you right now myself. I don't know what like thinking these thoughts that something needs to change and I don't know what that looks like 